lead me to the rock that's higher than I. In 1850, the political divide division in the United States was so occur that there was a great doubt if America could, could endure as a nation. Henry Watford Longfellow wrote a poem uh, reminding her of her divine, uh, divine hand seen in the founder. He wrote, The building of a ship. The last stanza sounds like a plea and a prayer that America would survive. He wrote, Thou too, sail on, O ship of states, sail on, O union strong and great. Humanity with all its fears, with all the hope and future years, is hanging breathless on thy fate. We know what master laid the keel, what workman wrought thy ribs of steel, who made each mask and sail and rope. What anvil rang and hammer beat, in what a forge and what a heat. We shapen the anchor with thy hope. Fear not each sudden sound and shock, tis of the waves and not the rocks. Tis but a flapping of the sails and not the rent made by gale. In spite of rocks and tempered roar, in spite of false lights on the shore, sail on, nor fear the beast of the sea. Our hearts, our hope, are all with thee. Our hearts, our hope, our prayers, our tears, our faith triumphant, or our fears, all are all with thee, are all with thee. Once again, there is some concern about America, as we know it, surviving. I pray she does, but while my hopes are with her, there are no in her. My hope and my hopes are in God alone. In the year 1776, American uh, ship of states began to rise in the shipyards of Providence and was launched for some divine purpose. Only God knows if that purpose has run its course. If she founders sinks like the once proud Spanish Armadana, or is overtaken by pirates. In 1776, the beautiful and majestic words were penned. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, and they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among those are life, liberty, and a pursuit of happiness. We can only pray that America's sons and daughters will come to their senses and remember the courage, the craftsmanship, and the careful considerations of the authors both of the Declaration and the Constitution, as well as the unseen hand that guides the Founders' fathers. Yet our hope and our faith is not in the Constitution or in the government. Our hope is in a far more secure and greater power. David wrote, and that was King David, When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock, higher than I. Some other words were also penned in 1776 by someone far less famous than Thomas Jefferson, but these words are much more powerful, life-changing, and important. They are, Rock of ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flow be of sin a double cure. Save me from the wrath and make me pure. Not a labor of my hands can fulfill thy law's demands. Could my zeal no reprise, no, could my tears forever flow. All for sin could not atone. Thou must save and thou alone. Nothing in my hands I bring simply to 
the cross I cling. Naked come to thee for dress, helpless look to thee for grace. Foul I fly to the fountain fly, wash me, Savior, all or I die, while I draw this fleeting breath. When my eyes shall close in death, when I rise to worlds unknown, and behold thee on thy throne, rock of ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. Augustus M. Toplady This entry was posted in Christian Viewpoint on April 13th, uh, 2020. Thank you.